Wally, one of his mates, myself, we jumped in this brand new Valiant boards on top off to Bells. Uh, I had actually spent some time down there. My father was in the Navy, so we'd moved around lots of naval housing. And, and of course, I thought I knew where Bells was, which was just past Geelong. Okay. So we've driven into the night. Now, Wally's got this brand new car, so he can't go over 50. So we plan to get there at, you know, left before dawn, plan to get there with daylight to find out where to go. Of course, we never made it because he couldn't drive faster than 50 in his new car. So we get there at dark. Do you think there's a sign to Bells Beach? But it's somewhere after Geelong on the Great Ocean Road. So we find this sign, the Great Ocean Road, we're here. So we bailed out, slept in the sand dunes, goes around here somewhere, look, it's the Great Ocean Road. So back in the car the next morning. I think we got to Joanna when we worked out that we'd missed it. And um, so 1968, here is this sensational beach and we're looking at it going, God, you know, just all struck by the magnificence of 10 to 12 foot Joanna. So anyway, up to Laver's Hill, which I only realised was Laver's Hill you know, a couple of years later. <laughs> we're looking for Bell's Beach, mate. Bell's Beach, Mabel, do you know where Bell's Beach is? You know, oh, I think it's back near Torquay. That's it, it's near Torquay. Where's Torquay? Yeah, which is, we overran that, didn't we? <laughs> so, classic was back to Torquay, and then the comedy got better <clears throat> in that we um, went surfing at 13th Beach, locked the keys in the boot of the car. So we've had to smash the flywheel, because there's nothing around, uh, smash the fly window, rather, on the front, on the passenger door of Wally's new car that by now has stone chips. And... Um, Climbed through and of course you took the back seat out and it's got these steel. How do we get in there? So, you know, we had to Wally's new car, you know, got the keys and back to Bells. And I've surfed through to the final and they've gone, we've had enough, we're leaving. Do I, how do I do this? So Johnny Pawson, bless his heart, took me to his... Dad, Dad, this guy's stuck. He's a good bloke. Thank you, John. So here I am, barely, I think I turned 18 at that Bells, staying in the Torquay pub in my own room with the cream of Australian surfing. An unbelievable experience. Anyway, got to the final, broke the nose off my board, high tide ring con, first wave, came last. No, I've got to tell you the story. I got to the final by coming equal third in the semi-final. So in those days, they couldn't break a tie. And the Olsons, you know, feeling sorry for me. I've come all this way. I've been left. And they're going, well, we can't break a tie. You can surf in the final two. We'll have a seven-man final. So broke nose on my board. Come last. They've only got six medals. So I've got nothing to prove it. You know, I, we'll get it for you next year. It's just lost in the annals of uh, Olsendom. Um, how do I get home? Frank Ladder, yeah, I'll give you a ride. So hitch, you know, Frank's given me a ride to um, Sylvania up in you know, South Sydney. We'd driven all night. Oh, I'm tired. Um, you know, catch the bus, catch the train. And of course, I stuck my thumb out. And this guy on a motorbike's picked me up. And then, next thing I know, in King Street, Newtown, we're under, you know, a semi-trailer. He's severely injured. You know, I had this, wheel, this arm between the two rear wheels and one on my head and one on my ribs pinched on the on the tarmac and 
In those days, the Sun newspaper, the early afternoon edition, came out about one o'clock and my mum has got the front page of the Sun and here's my head. I recognise that head under that truck. <laughs> so, you know, she's ringing up the police because no, no identification, you know, and I'm in hospital and it, um, next to Sydney University there, I can't remember what it was. Is it RPA? Anyway, one of the hospitals there. Yeah. At like three o'clock, mum is just, you know, like gravel rashed and barked. Anyway, that was my first bells.